Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. The <laughs> Brad Hardy, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. To, to your opposite arm, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Today we're going to talk about a hip mobility routine, seven exercises, your favorite number, seven exercises to do daily for flexibility, less pain, and ease of movement. One thing that we have discovered over the years, Brad, well, we haven't discovered, what well, we've read and we have found out to be true is that the more motion a joint has, generally the less pain it has. Sure. So if you're suffering from hip arthritis, the more you can regain motion, the more quite often it correlates with a, a decrease in pain. Right, right. So, and if you're not having a hip arthritis or you're a younger person, the more you can keep your mobility, the less likely you're going to get, you know, severe arthritis that, that's going to disable you. Right, it's good preventative. Good preventative. Yeah. That's where and, I was headed with and that. And it's going to keep you more active. If you are active and, you know, you you really want to continue that over the long term, this is where you want to start. I've just found out, you know, especially if you sit a lot too, your hip flexors tend to get tight. Sure. Your, hip, your hip gets tight. Um, the more I stretch my hip, it just makes me feel younger. It's just, I mean, there's well, such good mobility You know, I think hip. there's something to do with the, uh, it's the center of the body, the core, you know, the sure. center of gravity. But oh, that's, that's just pretty, a that's theory and a philosophy. All right. Yeah. Um, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free. We upload every day. Also, please join us on some of our social media channels. Don't make us beg. Uh, especially, we're big into the Instagram now. Instagram. Graham Instagram. Crackers Graham is how crackers, I remember yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, we're going to be doing some major giveaways on Facebook again, Bob and Brad. Uh, Instagram, by the way, is official Bob and Brad. Official. And uh, Facebook is just Bob and Brad. So right. put Bob and Brad on Yeah. It. Well, no, that's so those rascals. stinkers. Right. And we're almost to a million subscribers yeah, now. So, so that's we're why gonna... we're going to be giving away a lot of really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get started, Brad. The first one we're going to do is, um, and you, you know, you can do these in a number of different directions, but I did them, these are, so you can all be done on the floor or on the bed. Sure. Okay. So we're going to start off with the first one. You're going to work on external rotation. So you can, you know, you can warm things up by just having the leg cross over to the other one, and you can go ahead and start moving it actively like this to get a little dynamic stretching. And then you go ahead and take your hand and go ahead and push it down like this, give it a little more stretch. It should feel a good, comfortable stretch. We're not creating any sharp pain whatsoever. A no, comfortable you can make stretch. It a little bit more intense by bringing this leg up even farther, Brad. You see what I just did? Yep. Oh, yep. you didn't even see that, but you, you knew what I was talking about. Well, Bob, I can read your mind. We're simpatico today. Wow. wow, big words. Yeah, I like the Whoa. big words. And of course, you want to do both sides so that you don't walk in a circle or swim in a circle like a duck. One like a duck. Like I'll get that eventually. Now, I've <laughs> noticed on mine, Bob, my right hip is significantly tighter than my left with this particular stretch. So I'm going to work more on my right side uh, as, uh, you know, finding that out. And that is good advice. Um, you want to make sure that you're going to work on the one that is a little bit tight. Now, in the same position, Brad, almost, you could go ahead and stretch your piriformis muscle. Sure. So you're going to cross over like this, and well, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Sure. But you can cross over like this. You can actually sit up like this and cross over and pull it like this. Yep. And Brad's showing the laying down version. You can just also bring it up and across like this and, and pull it. The piriformis is a little small muscle in your butt. And the reason it's important is it crosses over your sciatic nerve. And a lot of times people get tightness in there or sometimes the sciatic nerve actually pierces through that muscle and it can spasm on it. It can give you pain down the leg. And some people think they have sciatica when they actually have piriformis syndrome. It's called false sciatica, actually. Sure. Yeah. So, there's a, you know, Bob, there's another thing I did want to mention. I said my right hip is tighter than my left, which happens to be... Just like you said, my right side, if I have low back or hip pain, it's always on the right side. Sure. It's, yep. So it's, it all works together. All right. Next one we're going to do is the butterfly. So you're going to go ahead and, and yeah, I guess you're going to go, you can warm up like a butterfly. You can start getting a little dynamic stretching. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go ahead and you can use your elbows here and push down and give it a, a good long stretch. Yep. Maybe 30 seconds or so. Yeah, I, I personally don't like to go more than 30 seconds. And a lot of times, I'm kind of one of those pressure on, pressure off guys because yeah. I don't have a lot so of patience. You know, one thing that we didn't mention that with all stretching, it's going to be much more effective if you learn to relax and breathe. And, you know, as exhale out your mouth. And oftentimes, I find it while you're exhaling is when you 
apply the little more pressure and things just relax and the body relaxes more as you exhale. Well, I always stretch in the morning right when I wake up. Uh -huh. This is the thing I'm doing. It, it wakes me up and I, it, it, it's almost like meditative to me. You sure. Know, it, it's almost like I'm meditating and I kind of think about the day and I think about the things I'm thankful for. I'm yeah. seriously. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, a good. it's a really a great way to start the day. Yep. And it's really great for the body and the mind. Right. Yeah. So. It all works together. All right. This is the new one I've been doing, Brad. And we talked about this, but I've been doing the frog. Oh. So, and I'm not very good at it. I'm very tight. And that's why I like to do it because I, uh, apparently I really need it. So, you know, a frog kind of sits down like this, right? Yeah. Uh, but what to make it even harder, you can bring the ankles out a little bit further. And now I can't even go very far. And, I, you know, you can actually go all the way down like this to start. But that once you bring your ankles out like this, yeah. oh, my so God, I feel from this, this angle, can you see this angle, Liz? So he's saying bring the ankles out. Your knee stays in the same spot, and you bring your foot out this way. Right. So that internally rotates your femurs, which changes the dynamics of the stretch on your hips. I think they used to call it, we used to call this in, in, with kids, W, w sitting, remember? You oh, form yeah. A w. Yeah, some and little kids can do that, and, you know, some And really actually, little kids usually don't want doing that because it, it can kind of internally rotate their hips, but, it, you know, um, it's fine with an adult when you're getting tight and you want to start to regain some of that. Well, yeah, they're, they're going to the extreme when they W sit. Wow. Right. All right, next one, the old hip flexor. Again, this one's very important, especially if you do any a lot of sitting throughout the day. Mm -hmm. You might need a pillow underneath your kneecap. Uh, you don't hear because this mat is so soft. Right, yep. So you're going to just go ahead, and I'm stretching like this. I'm stretching this hip flexor, and you can see I'm keeping really good posture while I'm doing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show Bob just so they're, they're perfectly clear. I, it's a nice – so if we take the, the – line of his torso and then you can you move that hand bob you can yep. see the the angle here that's all in the hip extension which does the hip flexor which is a goal and that's really a good demonstration and if you want to make it a little more difficult why not then you can bring that ankle out again oh a little bit all right so again rotation. back here he's pulling it out yep. that way it makes it a little harder yep whoa good thing yeah, i got yeah, the yeah, booyah yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so the next one we're going to go ahead and actually stretch the hip extensors or stretch the hip into flexion. Sure. Now, you can do that in this position here. You can just go right into this. So he's going to get that, doing. that glute maximus and that uh, backside of the, the buttocks there, and that's a, a good stretch. You can also do it, if that's a little too aggressive for you, you can do it just laying down like this and pulling the leg up like this. Yep. Single knee to chest. Yep. Fantastic for doing it. All right, the final one we're going to do is called the 90-90, uh, Brad. Ah, so you're going to yes. put your legs in a 90, the knees in a 90 position. This one's in a right angle. That's basically what we're saying here. Okay, and then sitting up kind of as straight as you can. You can see I'm tight. I'm not, I can't get up real straight yeah. here. So I'm going to thread the needle. I'm coming across here, and I'm taking this. Here's the needle. I'm threading it through the hole here. And you can feel a stretch here. I feel that right here on, on me. I don't sure. know where you feel it, Brad. Well, like I said before, Bob, this one... You don't like it for your back. Right. It makes my back feel uncomfortable. So if that happens with you, any of these make something feel like I'm not stretching, it just hurts, take yeah. that stretch and, and just disregard it. Yeah, stretching should feel good. And then you can actually go the opposite direction. And again, I'm real tight. I'm actually having to grab on my leg and go into this direction. Yep. Um, but it's stretching the hip internal rotators, sure. external rotators, and it's just a good way to do both. So... I like that, the, the, the 90, 90. Yeah, pressure off. One of the, one's getting pressure on, one's getting pressure off all the time. Yeah, so. so we're alternating back and forth. You really can't go wrong once you're, it's efficiency, Bob. Yeah, and you know, this is going to allow me to kick higher than two feet like I normally do. <laughs> so eventually I'll get there. What are you going to kick that high, Bob? I don't know. I'm thinking about if I could knock something right off your shoulder. He's going to get into the martial arts. That's He's right. training in secret. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, Very for watching. Good. Well, the hips are really important for martial yeah, arts, hip are. flexibility. Yeah. Yes, they are.